Hello everyone. In your music theory workbooks, Unit 19 addresses Mozart and the modern bow. In this lesson, we will look at how the modern bow was invented. Hundreds of years ago, the early Baroque bow was created by tying horsehair at one end of the stick and attaching the hair at the other end to a block of wood called a frog that was clipped or screwed onto the bow. These early bows were straight and they bowed outward when tightened. They varied greatly in size and shape and they worked well for the shorter notes common in Renaissance and Baroque music. However, they did not work as well for the longer notes required in the music of the late classical and early Romantic eras. Between 1760 and 1780, the French bow maker named Francois Tort standardized the length, weight, size, and shape of the bows into the design we still use today. He used Pernambuco wood from Brazil to make his bows longer, stronger, and better balanced at both ends. Instead of carving a concave bow like the early Baroque bows, Tort heated and bent the stick into a convex shape using a technique known as cambering. Tort also modernized the frog by adding a tightening screw to adjust the tension of the hair, and he added a small block of wood in the frog to spread the hair evenly into a flat ribbon. The violin bow is the longest and lightest bow in the violin family. The viola and cello bows are shorter and heavier to give them added strength to move their bigger strings. Bass bows come in two designs, the older German bow and Tort's new French design. Many orchestral players use a German bow that is held underneath the stick and they prefer its superior strength and power. Other bass players use Tort's French bow, which is held more like a cello bow and is used to perform faster, more virtuosic solos. The new Tort bow design enabled players to produce a variety of new bow strokes and articulations. Since Tort and his contemporaries were French, many of the new terms like détaché, martelé, louré, and sautier are also French. There are also many Italian bowing terms as well, like staccato, marcato, spiccato, sul tasto, and sul ponticello. You'll find the definitions for many of these terms in the glossary of your workbook. Now read lesson 19.1 in your workbook and answer the exercise questions for that lesson. In the next lesson, we will look at the life and works of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.